What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. We are checking in on one of my most favoritest games of the last year or so, uh, Cryptarch, which has reached its final release. It's actually past release now, I just hadn't had time to play it and show it off. If you don't know what this game is, essentially it's kind of like a mix between Armored Core, a roguelike, Space Hulk, basically you're a badass robot. You go into Space Hulks and you try to get all the cool stuff out of them that you possibly can, but you're on a time limit. Most of them have something bad that's going to happen if you don't get there in time. And so anyways, last time I touched on this game, it was probably two years ago now at this point. It was definitely a while ago. It was in early access and it wasn't quite ready for the burner yet. Uh, now, it's ready for the burner. So let's go ahead and get this thing cooking and see what the game's got going for us. Uh, we're going to be playing in campaign mode. And then I am going to overwrite that campaign right there, because that one doesn't matter. Yeah, we will play the tutorial. Why not? Attention all crew, we've made contact with the outskirts of the target flotilla. Make ready to commence pioneer operations immediately. Our contractors have hired us to locate and secure a flagship class derelict they're calling the Cryptarch. There's some piece of premium Xenotech on board they want to get their hands on, and we're the ones who landed the job. To find the Cryptarch's position within the fleet, and how to open it up, we'll have to shake down a number of these subjacent vessels for intel. Unfortunately, it won't be easy. These ghost ships have some onboard security built to last, so we'll have to blast our way in. This straggler will be a good target to stretch our legs and test the temperature of the water. Well, let's do this thing then. I love stretching my legs. Stretching my legs is probably one of my favorite things aside from stretching my back. So this is a warship, an indicative example of the alien flotilla. This ancient ship carries a still functional security system and defensive drones. Let's do this thing. Let's get on bone. I want to be a space pirate. That's all that I've ever wanted to be is a space pirate. Local vector with target vessel is locked. Operator lights green. Hangar depressurized. Move out to the arming area and careful you don't bang up my flight deck. I mean, I wasn't trying to. Let's go down the checklist here and make sure you didn't knock any screws loose on a trip over. The old gun hand here has got four weapon hard points and four item brackets. First up, rattle off a few rounds from the machine gun into the target. Next, the ram spike should punch a hole through anything that gets too close. Targets up! Ram spiking, spiking a ram. That's what it gets, I got some yams. Check. Now spit out a few grenades. Make sure the feed hasn't gummed up again. Aw, oh, that guy just scratched his butt though. You should not be scratching your butt while we're chilling right now. There's some grenades, are you happy? Finally, fire up that shield generator. I'd rather you burn out the power cell than bring my suit back with holes in it. I mean, there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna bring it back with holes in it. I'm just giving you a fair warning. Okay, let's see what we're looking at here. Pull up your tactical map. Now let's figure out a plan of attack. All right, so here's our tech map. Here's our primary objective, the core. All defensive bodies appear to be networked to this centralized AI cortex. Knock out the core and the ship will be powerless. But first, this active shield system will have to be taken offline. It looks to be protecting the core with some sort of energy field. Scanner sweep also indicates multiple other security systems are active as well. Take a look around and plan to take out modules that might be a problem. So let's have a look at these modules here. So this is the basic idea of the game, is that you've got a limited amount of time to get in there. So there's a key terminal right there. There's a spike dog and a jockey right there. We've got some ammunition on that side at the supply pod. Right here for the shield generator system, we've got to knock that out. Otherwise, the core will have a shield on it, and that'll make it a pain in the ass to kill. And so this right here is an alarm system. If we have the time, we should probably swing through and knock that out as well. Because then, when we attack the core, which is networked to the alarm system, we're going to get some of that old be doo be doo be doo And I hate it when there's be doo be doo be doo So, in order to avoid be doo be doo be doo we're going to go through and knock that out. The sentry control system... That'll get rid of turrets? How many turrets do we actively have, though? I don't really see that many turrets. What is that right there? A bumper? Okay. Yeah, I don't really see that many, and that right there actually officially unlocks all the doors so that you don't have to use keys. Alright, and so my guess would be that we should breach through right here, come straight in, 
Kill the shields. Once we kill the shields, we'll make a beeline. We'll try to hit the alarm. We'll try to hit the turret and knock that out. That's a reply. Okay. All right. We're not in too bad a shape, but this is a very, very easy mission. This game gets hellishly difficult as you get further in. You can also set up waypoints. So I'm going to do that right there. So let's go ahead and we are off. Let's go do this thing. Pioneer away. Equipment expenses logged. Start mission clock. Let's. Hell yeah. I love money. Money is great. So here's our... Ooh, it's shooting at me. Ah, it's not shooting at me. It's not shooting at me. I'm bouncing bullets off of its shield. There we go. So the shields are officially down. Key terminal. We've got ourselves one key. I'm going to be moving fast in this playthrough. Just because, unfortunately, you can't really move slow. And so there's an enemy down right there. There's another enemy down. How are we looking on bullets right now? I'm a little bit... We got about 1,500 rounds. Okay, I can live with that. I'm going to stay moving. We've got a turret system over here that is being a douchebag. So let's go ahead and wipe that out. I think I got to shoot the little crystal thing in the middle in order to make this happen, Captain. Our hull is actually kind of busted up, though. So we probably want to work on that. Then again, we don't really have the best weapons for the job at the moment. That's the downside that we've got to live with here. I think... There's a little bit more damage. I can take that. What's our mission clock looking like? Where's my mission clock at? Do I not have a mission clock right now? There we go. And so the sentry controls have been wiped out. My suggestion would now be, we don't have a key, but the alarm system is the next thing that I'm interested in murdering. The alarm system should be pretty easy to knock offline. I don't think we're going to struggle much with this. Uh, there's an alarm right there. But we managed to dodge it, so the tripwire is not an issue. Let's finish off the alarm system. Alarm system's down. We still got a thousand rounds left in the gun. So we should be all right so long as we stay moving. Uh, we got a little stabby module over here. He's got to go. What is this right here? That's a bumper. Okay, we don't care about that. Let me get that key terminal right there. And then I am going to go to the repair terminal over here and get my hull fixed, which I think is a really good idea. Yes, repair my hull, please. Perfect. Plus four health right there. I think if you use a repair pod, you get in trouble, though. I'm pretty sure it deducts from your final mission score. There is the cortex right there. The shield is down. And so we can wipe that out very rapidly. I'm actually just going to fill it full of grenades. That'll make this a tad easier. There we go. And they're going to rush in to try and kill us. Neutralized. Chain reaction is shutting down the other security elements. We'll call the salvagers to come and cash out. Good work. Hell yeah. That's the only type of work that I do. Doesn't even need to be acknowledged. I'm the man on the paint. They know it. We've got a starting budget of 500k for equipment and weapons, but we'll pull in more funds for each boat we capture. Just don't get sloppy. You crash and burn out there and we'll get slapped with the expenses. We go into the red, our contract gets torched. Alright, so we should be sitting on 500k for expenses. It says we have no revenue right now, but that's because we haven't generated revenue. I'm assuming the rest of it is, yeah, banked down at the bottom. So there's a power station here. The difficulty is 2. AI scan has got a number of things there. There are five tech advances on board. You can get new guns and you can re-outfit your mech. Uh, you're going to find stuff around. I am actually, I prefer the flamethrower is what I use in this game a lot. I love the flamethrower. The flamethrower is really, really good. It's only downside is that it tends to run out of stuff. And so we've got a factory over here. It's got four tech advances. If we destroy the factories, we get 31k. No grenades, we get 31k. And if we don't repair, we get 31k. The scrapyard over on this side, destroy the shuffle systems. Uh, maximum loadout is 125k. Do not use repair kits. That's just about keep nuclear destructs. I don't think I have any nuclear destructs right now. Keep the door systems, destroy armoring systems, and no grenades. I think I'm more than likely lean towards going into the factory. I think that's a pretty good idea. Factories tend to have good things that I want. So, let's go for it. Although long dormant lightly guarded, the multiple factory systems of the Industrial Hulk are quick to restore it to fighting strength. And so we need to destroy factories. I'm pretty sure those are the cogs that are on our system scan right there. Let's take a look. Hopefully we can plan this thing out and come up with a good angle of attack. Alright, so... <laughs> We got our bits on some new equipment licenses. Plug it in the loadout rig here, and I'll get you all geared up, sonny. Hell yeah. 
Right, let's get down to business. You got four weapon points that can carry whatever hardware we got licenses for. I can modify the amount of hull durability your suit has as well. Bolting on extra plating can get pricey though. Lastly, there's four utility item brackets that can be loaded up with whatever goodies you think might come in handy. All right, so taking a look at what we got right now, what can I have instead of the machine gun? We've got... The armaments catalog by type. Be sure to let me know how much ammo you want for each gun, too. These things get hungry out there. We've got shotguns, we've got high explosive rounds, we've got a blaster. Uh, the blaster, if I remember correctly, I think the blaster is just like a, um, it's like a weapon that has no ammo. It's basically like a fallback weapon. For right now, 1,500 on that. Let's say that I wanted to add another 1,500 rounds. Oof, that got expensive quick, didn't it? $60,000 on bullets. What a life to live. I don't think I'm going to need much more than that. We'll keep the shield for right now with the ram spike. I don't really care about the ram spike is my problem. Uh, we can go with a shotgun. I don't think we have a maximum loadout list right now. The goal time is almost 8 minutes, so that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the shotgun is nice. What else do we have? we got a medium machine gun. We've got a little zippy gun right there. Okay. I... We'll probably go with a blaster instead. Now that that loadout's done, we've got high explosive grenades. My suggestion would be just to get rid of those to save a little bit of cash. And so our total is 135,000 right now. Hey, remember, all this stuff's gotta be paid for. Equipment costs are only logged after you leave the hangar. So feel free to test out new weapons on the target tip. So there's our blaster right there. Uh, downside to the blaster is that it does need to recharge, but the upshot is that you can be a little bit lazier with your ammo on other guns as long as you have a blaster on you. So I'm going to confirm my loadout in just a minute, but instead I need to plan what I'm... Oh, the core is right there. On this one. You'll have to work fast before those factories start swapping you. Alright, so there's one of them right there. There's one of them right there, so we're going to have to pick up a key along the way. That is technology, which gives us a license for a new gun. Grabbing as many of those is a really good idea. So that door is locked. My suggestion would be we go in through here. I think. Actually, no, we go in through here. We go in through here. Nope, please stop doing what you're doing. We go in through here. We kill that. Is there a way for me to add waypoints here? Like, can I add multiple points to make a path through this place? Because that's what I'd like to do. And so anyways, there's our breach right there. We go down. We grab the key from right there. We kill the shield generator, which is over the cortex. After we get the key, we snag that right there. We get the technology. We kill the door system. Then we come down here. We kill the factory system. All the doors should be unlocked from there. We grab the tech. We grab the tech. And then we hit this. You really want to prioritize the tech. Because the stuff that you have right now is not that great. There are some amazing guns in this game. And by amazing, I mean they are very shooty. And they eliminate enemies. And they make things not go be doo be doo be doo and I've already talked to you about my opinions about Bidu Bidu Bidu. So let's have no Bidu 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 here today. Let's go! It's time for us to fly through space. Gonna kill the drone erase. Of robots all up in our face. They gotta die right now. Alright, so we're in. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna wipe out the security system over here. I'm going to use the blaster as much as possible to make this easier. Alright, that's down. Key terminal. I'm going to need you. Ow, I've been struck. Ah, Jesus. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that is right there, but it's doing something. So let me let me jet on through here before I get shot at. Oh, glorious bullet hell. There we go. So we've wiped... Ah, I got another hit right there, unfortunately. I do have repair kits on me, so it's not that bad and that vital that we get something done. But i got to kill these door locks. Otherwise, we are going to struggle throughout the course of this play. So, inside this room, there's a technology. So, we've got a submunition rocket. I don't know what that means, but I hope it's awesome. We have things teleporting in right now to try and kill us. I should probably use my shields a bit more, but uh, what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that mini game. Okay, so I've got to go. Uh, we go. Oh. There we go. I got to do it on the arrow keys. This is going to open. Let's see here. Uh, there we go. That's going to open. 
Cool. So now all the doors should be down. Let's go ahead and hustle. We've got plenty of time left right now, so there's no need to panic and or run. Uh, here's our first factory on the left. We are going to go after this fairly aggressively, I think. Fairly aggressively. So let's get up in here. I'm going to try and put some blaster rounds on these things. Just to speed along the damage that we're dealing. Oh, hey, what's up? It's shooting back at me. So there's one factory subsystem down right there. I don't know what just happened. Uh, it looks like we opened up some kind of wormhole when we destroyed that. Or at least it had some kind of defensive system that looks like, oh my good sweet lord, we have problems. Yes, we do. We have problems. There's enemies everywhere. Let me get some shields up right there. Wipe out a couple of these cats. And how is our ammo looking? We got 1,500 rounds. Kind of glad that I went through and handled that then. Although, what I need to do for right now is I really need... I'm going to run a fixing unit. God, I can't see anything right now. This is all kinds of bad. This room is hellish. Good lord. Yeah, well, maybe if it wasn't like a two-foot room with a thousand enemies in it, I'd be a little bit better off. Ran a hell repair real fast. This would have been a perfect candidate for some serious grenade action. But I ditched my grenades because I hate my life. And I decided to make poor life decisions. So there's another factory system down right there. Is it auto-regenerating or is it just dying? It's dying horribly good. That's what I like to see. We got a couple of minutes left. So my suggestion would be that we try to recover as much technology as we can. So let's go ahead and put some Bruck on these guys. Ow, I got stabbed. I don't like getting stabbed. Uh, I've got a little bit of health left. Let's maybe, let's bug out. I think I'm going to focus on maybe just finishing this thing. Uh, there's a buzzsaw in here. I am going to melt the hell out of these cortices. I don't like what's happening at the moment. What killed me? Ah, Pioneer punching out. Get another suit off the rack and we'll try again. All right. Uh, you should basically... Oh, the game used to end when you died. Like, it used to just be over. Like, it used to be done. Like, that was it. That was the game. I guess it doesn't do that anymore. Although, we're still on the first stage, so I don't know. We'll try the duplex over here. We got repair kits, flat containers. As you can tell, this is definitely a bullet hell game, and it is crazy difficult. And these are the first levels, dude. I've gotten out to the third or the fourth level, and it's just so insanely hectic that, like, my brain, my old man brain can't process it anymore. Six max hull, keep two systems, destroy drone factories. Yeah, we'll do the colony arc here. Oh, uh, we did lose a little bit of cash, though, on that one, which is unfortunate. So, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I am perfectly happy with my setup. We still got our shields, so I can live with that. Let's go ahead and have a look at what we got going on on this side. So in the Crypt Arc, we got two technologies right there. They want us to destroy the drone facilities. We should probably go up here and handle that would be the first thing. So we kill this, we kill this, then we kill this. Take our sweet time, though. And then the core is networked to an alarm subsystem, which would probably be smart to kill. But... It's not a lot of technology in the southern quadrant, so I'm thinking that if we just hit this right here, we can get all three of those and then just be done with it real fast. Get some kind of speed bonus. Let's go. It's time for us to get some technology. Apparently, people don't invent things anymore in the future. We just go into spaceships and recover them. Hey, what's going on, pal? How you doing? There we go. Uh, tech terminals. So we've got a recycler. We've got a zip gun smart. That means it aims itself, so we don't have to aim it. We just hold the button down and fire. Uh, it means that it takes... I forget that there's a difference, though. There's, like, a downside. I think the ammo is more expensive or something like that. I don't remember what the exact stipulation is, but I'm pretty sure... What the hell is that thing? Some kind of, like, robot pineapple? All right. Cool. That's all taken care of. Let's keep trucking. We've got things to accomplish here. We're being shot at, though. Uh, key terminal? Yeah, just in case I end up needing a key card. I suppose I'll handle you. All right, all nice and done right there. And then we've got a drone factory on this side that technically really needs to go. I don't have to focus too heavily on it, but let's keep firing. I love the gun sounds in this game. They're so chunky, and they sound so good. 
Who doesn't love the gun sounds in this game? They sound great. Like, it makes you feel like you're actually in, like, a big badass mech. So they're all going to get sucked into the void right there. I think that was the main way I got myself into trouble last time, is by not knowing that it was going to try and suck me into a weird black hole. We have the key to the door lock right here. That thing is like a beehive, so it's got to go. Beehive is down. Uh, data, we've got a remote-guided rocket. That sounds pretty swell. I think I'd be excited to use that. How much time do I have left? Six and a half minutes. All right, key terminal. Do your thing for me. Kill that thing off before it releases any friends. We've got a door lock terminal right here. There it goes. And then we go down, right, up, down. Perfect. I will eliminate you very rapidly. So the door controls are now eliminated. And we finally need the shield system as well. I find it's easier to neutralize shield systems if you get up close to them. That way you don't have to worry about the reflective bullets quite as much. Now then, we need to get moving and head down to the south. Let me take a look at my mission planner. The core is right there. Uh, any other technology is pretty deep, and it's going to kind of be a waste of our time. I wouldn't recommend it. So I think I may just go for the core, although I may try to kill the alarm system first. Q just tried to impale me, and whereas I am a fan of good impalement here and there, uh, now is not the time. Now is not the time. I'm going to open that up right there. He's going to open fire on me. I'm going to get rid of the alarm system. Uh, I think if I... Oh, I can follow that around. Never mind. That's not like a hard spot that I'm blocked by. All right, so the alarm system's down. That's another issue that has been relegated to the scrap heap. And that means I should be able to start up on the Cortex. So let's start up on the Cortex, I guess. I'm about to go around this way, though, unfortunately. Uh, is it growing a new robot right there? I think it is. I think it's growing new robots on that side. Stop growing new robots. Stop gestating in front of me. I don't like it when you gestate in front of me. We have business to resolve over here. And I am going to do that by staying as far the hell away from this thing as possible. Done. Cortex is down. And so there goes the system. With five minutes left, we find ourselves one step closer to the Crypt Arc. This is one of those games with a learning curve. You gotta get back into it. Position of this asset. We have been able to move the salvage timetable forward ahead of schedule. Well, I always... The surplus has been provided to you as a bonus. Credit is given when due, Captain. I love helping people stay on schedule. So, yay. Uh, we got 81,000. It looks like they eased up on the mission timers, too. Turns out one of the salvage operators running cleanup after our web work is an old friend of mine from back in the service. His sticky fingers are willing to pass us some Xeno artifacts under the table. What our contractors don't know is extra money in our pockets. He'll Sound. be working one of these targets once we clear it. If we cover his tracks by meeting his objective, he'll smuggle us the artifact. I know a long list of buyers who would be very interested in these sort of trinkets. So that's actually a new mechanic that I've never seen before. So now it appears as though there's artifacts we can recover from the ships, too. And if we can get the artifact, it looks like we probably get ourselves a sizable bonus. I don't know what happens when you get an artifact, but my assumption is that, oh, loadout max goes up by 45k? Or does that mean my loadout max can only be 45k if I want to get an artifact? I don't know. Either way, that's a new mechanic that I've never seen before that's been implemented uh, with the new builds of the game. Pretty excited to see what's going on here, though. If you guys want to play more Crypt Arc, let me know. I like this game a lot. This is one of my favorite games of the last year or two. Uh, and it's one of those games that never gets mentioned anywhere, strangely enough. But it really is a fantastic game. I did a series back on it when it first went into early access. And I'm doing a series on it now very rapidly just to see if it's the sort of thing anybody would be into. But yeah. If you like Armor Core, if you like that sort of stuff, but you also like roguelikes, pretty solid amalgamation of the two. The controls are tight, the guns sound good, the production values are through the roof, the voice acting is top-notch, there's not a whole lot of things to complain about with this game. So anyways, I will see you all next time, thank you for stopping on in, hi do everybody, and uh, I'll see y'all later.